This is the grade 11 um, common question for November 2015, electricity question 11. It says the circuit below is used to determine the resistance of resistor X. The 12 volt battery has a negligible internal resistance. When switch S is closed, the reading on the ammeter is half an amp. State Ohm's law in words. Well, here is Ohm's law in words. Learn your definitions. Make sure that you write the at a constant temperature or you will not get both marks for your definition. Now it says to you, for five marks, calculate the resistance of resistor X. So you need to understand here that that's for five marks, it's not going to be a one step calculation. But what do we know about the circuit? We know that this is very obviously plainly a series circuit. So what do we know in a series circuit? In a series circuit, we know that current is the same everywhere, okay? But the voltage is divided in the ratio of the resistors. So we have been given the current here. We need to find something using the current, okay? So what we can do here is we can say, all right, if we know the total voltage, and we know the amps, we can use Ohm's law, V equals IR, and we can say for the total voltage, the current will be the same everywhere in the circuit because it's a series circuit. So the voltage, the total voltage will be equal to the current times the total resistance. So what we can do here is the total voltage is 12, the current is half an amp, and we don't know the total resistance. So 12 divided by a half, 12 divided by half should give us 24, our total should be 24 ohms, yes, so that's fine. Now we know that this is a series circuit and in a series circuit the total resistance for a series circuit will be equal to resistor 1 plus resistor 2. So my 24 ohms is going to be resistor 1 which is 8 ohms plus resistor X. So 24 minus 8 is 16. So resistor X will be a value of 16. So X equals 16 ohms. That is the resistance of resistor X. So that was fairly straightforward. Now we come to the second circuit here, which is a little bit more interesting. Study the circuit below. The battery has an EMF of 12 volts with a negligible internal resistance. Now it says to you, write down the potential difference across the 4 ohm resistor. So they are saying to you, if you put a voltmeter across the 4 ohm resistor, what is the voltage going to be? Look here, it's one mark. The moment it's one mark, you know that there's no calculation involved. It's going to be something that's in the question or staring you in the face or something obvious, okay? So what will be the potential difference across the 4 ohm resistor? This is part of a parallel circuit. So this voltage here with no internal resistance, okay, will be equal to this voltage over here. It will be equal to this voltage over here. And because this is also in parallel, it would be equal to this voltage over both of those resistors, okay? So in a parallel circuit, voltage is the same everywhere. That 4 ohm resistor is in parallel with the energy source. So the potential difference across the 4 ohm resistor is going to be 12 volts. It is also going to be 12 volts over this 16 ohm resistor. Okay, now it says to you calculate the reading on the ammeter. So here is the reading, here is the ammeter that we want the reading for. Now we have to have a bit of a think here. Where exactly is this ammeter? So I'm going to redraw the circuit in a straight line. I'm going to come out the battery here. If here's my battery, I'm going to come out the battery. And over here is the decision point. If I go upwards, I'm going to go through the 12 ohm resistor and the 8 ohm resistor. Okay, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to go back to the battery. If I come out the bottom here, I'm going to go to this parallel circuit with the 16 ohm resistor and the 4 ohm resistor. 
and then these two are going to combine and then they're going to come through this ammeter over here. This ammeter is going to this branch of the circuit, okay? So where is this ammeter reading reading? This ammeter is reading the current in the bottom half of the circuit. It looks a bit weird when it's drawn over here because it's like you're not 100% sure where it is. But if you have a look here, we are going to be taking an ammeter reading for this parallel part of the circuit. So when we want to find this ammeter reading, it, we know that in a, a, a parallel circuit, the current is divided between the resistors and it's an inverse ratio to the resistors. So this big resistor is going to have a small current. Let's use the other pen. In a parallel circuit, in a parallel circuit, the uh, large resistor gets a small current. So this is going to have, this is the larger resistor, it's going to have a small current. And this small resistor is going to have a big current. But this current, the small current plus the big current, will combine to give us the reading on the ammeter. So if we want to find the reading on the ammeter, we can use our knowledge that this has got a 12 volt reading because it's in parallel with the battery. This has got a 12 volt reading because it's in parallel with the battery. Okay, we can take those two readings. Oh, I drew those lines badly. Sorry, people. Let me rub this out and draw it where it belongs. Terrible, terrible. The voltmeter is reading only these two resistors. Yes. So we know that the voltmeter reading is going to be 12 volts on this one and 12 volts on this one because there's no internal resistance. We know that this is going to be a big current, uh, sorry, a small current. This is a small current because it's a big resistor. And this is going to be a big current. And together they're going to add up to this ammeter reading over here. So we can use the two resistors and we can say, the voltage on the 16 ohm resistor is equal to the current on the 16 ohm resistor times the resistance of the 16 ohm resistor. So we know it's 12 because it's a parallel circuit equals I times 16. So the current going through the large resistor will be a small value. It'll be comma 75 amps. Okay, 12 over 16 is three quarters. And then we do the same calculation for the 4 ohm resistor, the voltage in the 4 ohm resistor is equal to the current in the 4 ohm resistor times the resistance of the 4 ohm resistor. It's in the parallel circuit. The voltage is 12 because it's the same as the, what the battery is providing. We're trying to find the current and we have a 4 ohm resistor. So the current in the 4 ohm resistor is 12 over 4 is 3 amps. And then these two currents combine, they flow out of these two and they combine to give you this ammeter reading. So my ammeter reading is going to be 3 plus comma 75, which is going to give me 3 comma 75 amps. That will be the reading on the ammeter A. Now it says to you, calculate the energy dissipated in the 12 ohm resistor in two minutes. Okay, so when we do this, we have to use some of these formulas. You remember the W, this W, which um, stands for work done. Work done is the same as the change in energy. So any of these formulas with the W, work done is change in energy, is going to give us energy. So we could use VI delta T, but we don't know both V and I. So it makes more sense to use one of these two formulas, I squared R delta T or V squared over R delta T. Remember that in this formula, we're going to use SI units. So my time must be in seconds. So our first job is to go back to the question and it says to you calculate the energy dis dissipated in the 12 ohm resistor in two minutes. Now two minutes is going to be two times 60 which is 120 seconds. So before we can do anything, we need to change the time. So 
One of those formulas, possibly perhaps the current formula, is probably the best formula. We could maybe find the current in that branch. How could we find the current in that branch? Well, at the moment we can't find the current in the branch because it's in parallel, but it's not properly parallel in the circuit here. Okay, we've got these two resistors in series, but if we combined these two resistors in series, resistors in series, they add together. So this total resistance will be 12 plus eight. This is going to be the equivalent of 120 ohm resistor. Okay, so if we combine these two resistors, I could put here an effective resistance of 120 ohm resistor. And then this 20 ohm resistor will be completely in parallel with the battery. And then I will get a voltage of 12 volts through one resistor. And if I know the voltage and the resistance, then I can find the current. And remember, even though we're pretending that this is um, a, a one resistor, current is the same everywhere in series. So if I find the current for one effective resistance here, it will be the current anywhere in this little series branch of this parallel circuit. So if I say to you, V equals IR, my 12 volts is going to be equal to the current in an equivalent of a 20 ohm resistor by adding those two series resistors together. So then I end up with a current 12 divided by 20 of 0 0,6 amps. So this 0 0,6 amps that I've calculated by pretending that these are one resistor, okay, is actually going to be the same as over here, as over here, as over here, because that's how it works with this part of the circuit that is in series. Okay, so we pretended it was one resistor in order to be able to use the 12 volts out the battery, and we got a current reading that is going through that whole arm of the circuit. So now I have an I, and I also have an R, so I can use the formula that the work done or the energy dissipated. Remember this word dissipated just means like released to the environment or something. So it's just a, a, a word that they often use with energy in physics. So the work done is, or the energy dissipated is equal to I squared R delta T. So my I I've calculated as comma six amps, which I need to square. My resistance they said in the 12 ohm resistor and then my time is two minutes so it is two times 60 seconds so if you put that all in your calculator you come out with 518,4 joules and we can use the unit joules because we converted everything in the circuit into SI units.